Welcome back to another Landscape Studio 7 tutorial. Today we're going to discuss landform and some topography settings. The scene I have open today is our spring tutorial property. And this is also a great scene to show because of landform in here. So as you can see we have a house set up atop this hill and our driveway going up some, you know, pretty substantial landform here. So first I wanted to show you this, but now we're going to go into another model. And this scene here, we can go over some of my favorite tools. Click on the ribbon tab, property, and you have a few different topography tools here. The first we're going to show is the height grid. To use height grid, I always want to go into plan view. This way here I can really set my square or, or, or points. Now we only have four points with the height grid, so usually it's you know more or less a triangle, square, rectangle, things like that. So let's make a you know 26 by 26 square here, or give or take. Right click so you make that that height grid. Go back into perspective. You can Z to zoom to, and you can see we have our square here. Double click and we have our points on the top, or our height grid points. You can adjust the points, like so, and you can see the points increase on our height grid. The base height is your overall height of the, of the, of the entire height grid. And you can adjust the individual points by selecting these circles and, they can, and turning them red. Now you can also do is hold down control and click a whole row of these and adjust them all at once with your point height. So we can change that. Let's go to three feet. And you can see how they've changed. The height grid is great for some more, you know, custom detail, things like that when you're, you know, placing a home. And this is my favorite tool. Now to add like a plant bed or something like that on top of this, go into plan view. Your landscape ribbon plant bed you can your point type to this 90 degree angle here and you can simply trace over your height grid and now you can see that it's you know mulch or, or plant bed dirt and you can change your you know your material here now we'll show you how to place the, the retaining wall in terrace when we go back to our spring tutorial model first let's review another tool so I'm going to pan over and go back into property. Now we can use our slope tool. Now again, I'm going to go back into plan. I'm going to make another square here. So now we can see this is similar to a high grid, but this is really all about the slope here. You can see where my cursor is going. So you're going to kind of have this plateau, flat area here, and a slope up. Now I always like to lock the angle grid and use the rise over run. So the rise is how tall this, this piece of earth is by how long the slope is. So you can see that my run, or from the bottom to the top here, is 8 foot and it's 4 feet tall. Now this is really great, so if you wanted to place a structure on top here, you always know what your slope or your rise over run is. And again, our last tool and over here it's going to be our region tool another popular tool which I like to use um, I recommend using the circle or curve point type here so we can just quickly make something here and now as you can see it came in as sand now this is great for adding basically a region say sand bed mulch bed you know a patch of lawn or something like that you can change the bed material here um, to all different types of, of materials you can change the scale of your material and you can also adjust the angle but you can also adjust the height which is different from uh, the bed tool um, you know the plant bed tool in a way they're similar but you can go up to two feet you can see how it gets you kind of create that mound effect which is really great for we use them for circle driveways and add some add some more dimension to our plant beds here now another important feature to to know is the difference between basically when you're creating your you know patio area or your pathway 
is that in the building ribbon here, the patio and the walkway are very similar where you can choose pavers and, you know, your coping and things like that. But the walkway tool will actually conform to the landform you have, whether it be the region slope tool or the height grid. So let's quickly just change this to, say, you know, gravel or something, or mulch. Now you can see how there's this mound here in the middle. And what we're going to do is basically select our walk walkway. And you can see, rep even before I click, I right click to end that, that it, it's conforming to the landform here. And that can be really great. Um, again, to show, you know, show slight landform or when you're trying to, you know, there's a slope up to something and the, you know, where the patio tool will just be flat right there and you'll have to kind of play with a little bit more. So the pathway tool is a really great tool and often used as well. Okay, so let's go back to our spring tutorial here. And now I'm going to go over again my favorite tool, which was the height grid. And as you can see, I have a pretty large height grid here in this model. And I double click on it, you can see all the points and you know how I've conformed the points myself by selecting on an individual point and you know adjusting that height. Another really great tool that we do use often. Okay, so what I need to do here, I know that from this driveway there's you know a significant amount of landform still to this entrance and I need to put in a retaining wall so I can create a, a terrace and steps up. So I'm going to go to my plan view and I'm actually going to select my wall tool and I know that I kind of want to follow this bed I need to have like three or four steps up to my entrance and I'm going to bring this this retaining wall over here so this whole upper area becomes a terrace. So let's see how we do that. I always like to start with the uh, the curve point. So we're going to follow the bed here just like so. We're going to come in for our steps. We can change those after. I'll show you how. And, you know, we'll make a nice curve off to the, to the distance here. Now I'm going to double click on my wall here. You can adjust your points when you select them like so. And I'm going to I'm going to control select these two points and change them back this 90 degree angle because I like I said I, I want to put steps right here so I want to make sure that they're conformed to you know make them accessible for the step here. See how easy it is to, to you know change the shape and edit it like that it really is an awesome tool so I'm going to keep this selected. Now because I already have my landform in here I'm going to keep it selected so I can see it. It's just underneath, so don't worry about it. Just now adjust your elevation. And that wall will just come right back up, like so. So I'm going to zoom back in over here. And I know I want my wall to be more like three foot tall. So I'm going to change the height of my wall. And again, I'm going to bring up my elevation. So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit here. That's good. Okay, so now I have this three foot wall, but I still have this slope here. So I'm going to select my wall and I'm going to cut terrace. Now what that's going to do is actually create, you know, that terrace look. So as you can see, it, it, it flipped to the wrong side. Now again, we're going to select our tool and we're going to flip cut direction, just like so. And now it's going to flip the opposite way, which we want. Ah, here we go. So as you can see, I have this three foot wall here. It's going to have a kind of a flat area. Now it slopes a little bit more gently down to my driveway. And all behind it is retaining that earth. So it worked out perfect. So now you can see that by cutting the terrace and flipping the direction here, what I've done is flatten out this area, ready to install my path, and I've created this terrace, which is going to be a little bit easier again to get up and use the grade from my driveway to my front entrance. Now a couple things you can do. If you want to drop this landform, this grade down, 
don't have to double click on your high grid like so and adjust the points what you actually want to do is have this wall here right and let's say let's make the height you know three foot six inches okay but now you're saying well you know now the height of my wall just went up but I still have this you know I have this area here which I don't you know that's a step right there so now all you have to do is then just control the elevation of your wall that you have here so once that adjusts the height there so you can see there's just too much of a lip here right so we're going to select our wall and again adjust our elevation now when it gets into just inches like this I'd like to just actually put in you know a specific inch right there so wait for that to adjust All right, and now we have even a flatter pathway entrance here. So while we're here, let's go ahead and how about make a step here. So I like to use a wall for a step. I'm going to plan view, start here. I like to use my space bar to keep that right angle, like so. And zoom to my step to bring up the elevation here like so a little bit more that's how you can create your step control C control V bring that step down here a little bit and we can turn off the auto elevate for this specific task here so every time I move it it doesn't keep going back down so we're creating our step like so and just to get to the kind of finale here we can line these up with the plan view but I just want to show you how the walkway conforms to this existing grade here like so. So you can see our pathway follows this grid existing here, flattens because of our terrace. And there you go. So you've installed a retaining wall, a true retaining wall, created that terrace. And remember, if you want to flatten this out here, just up the height of the wall and then just lower the elevation. And you can make that terrace and that wall as, as large as you want. All right, well, anyway, that concludes our landform, some landform tools and settings, and hope this helps you in your, your next scene, your virtual property, and stay tuned. Thanks.